About 35,000 people who aren't U.S. citizens serve in our country's armed forces. Serving honorably puts them on a near certain path to citizenship. But that path can veer another way, leading to deportation. KVU border reporter Angela Cocherga talked with two veterans living in Mexico who say they're being punished twice. Coming up tonight on NFL Total Access. In a small house in Juarez, American football is on television. And on the wall, photos of Arturo Quinones in uniform. We were there enforcing a no-fly zone. We were the only ship there at that time. It was the Balkan Wars in the early 1990s, and Quinones was in the Navy. He served eight years. His friend Juan Valadez joined the Navy in 2000. We were off uh, on a, an amphibious assault ship. I was off to the coast of Yemen. We were doing special ops right there. Years later, the two men would meet in Mexico after they were deported. They deported me for life. From the U.S., the country they consider home. Yeah, I'm banned for life. Can't go back. Banished because of decisions they made when they left the military. You know, I was having money, uh, money troubles. And yes, it was very easy money. Quinones was caught smuggling marijuana across the border and spent two years in prison. Now I did jail time. I should have paid with that. Valadez was convicted on drug charges in El Paso and spent two years behind bars. If they were U.S. citizens, that would have been it. But green card holders who run into trouble with the law face deportation. I did my crime. I did the time. And... Basically, it's a double punishment. The organization Banished Vets estimates several thousand legal residents who served in the U.S. military have been deported. Right now, the only way veterans living here in Mexico can cross the border again and go back to the U.S. is in a coffin. By law, they're entitled to a military burial in the U.S. American flag, and my dog tags on rear view mirror. Those are your dog tags? Yes, ma'am. Dog tags proudly displayed by a U.S. vet in Mexico who can no longer return to the country he defended. Angela Cocherga, KVU News, Night Beat.